I have been on YouTube for almost 11 years and I have never talked about Miracle on 34th Street and I think that is very bizarre because this is my all-time favourite Christmas film. This was released in 1994, I was two years old at the time. I probably watched it from the first time it was shown on British television. I definitely didn't go to the cinema to see it but I imagine I would have seen it almost straight away. And ever since then I watched it every Christmas and to this day it's still my favourite Christmas film. This is directed by Les Mayfield, uh, written by George Seaton and stars Mara Wilson and Richard Attenborough. I think maybe Mara Wilson was one of the reasons why I initially liked this because naturally I was also a very big Matilda fan. But the other thing I love about this is that Attenborough is my Santa Claus. When I close my eyes and think of Santa as I do every other night, that's who I picture. To me he is the epitome of Santa Claus and that was who I will always see as Santa. So the narrative itself is also very interesting. It says from IMDB, the description is quite basic actually, a lawyer and a little girl must prove that a man claiming to be Santa Claus is the real thing. So we have Richard Attenborough who is Chris Kringle and he says that he is San the real Santa Claus. And this young girl, played by Mara Wilson, um, Susan Walker, has taken it upon herself to help Chris Kringle to prove that he is Santa Claus. And it's a wonderful journey. It's one of the most magical films ever. We do get, as an audience member, as a viewer, we know that Santa, this Santa, is the real Santa. We get glimpses of that. We can tell that. It's not a mystery for us. We are there with Susan trying to persuade haters, if you like, that he is the real Chris Kringle. And the reason the lawyer is involved is because there are some threats to this man claiming to be Chris Kringle. Um, and it could, you know, put his life almost in jeopardy. So the narrative's beautiful and, I, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I'd like to think everybody has seen it by now. But the scene in the courtroom where Susan steps forward and hands something over is one of my favourite film scenes ever. That It's just ingrained in my mind so much, I can see it clearly. And I haven't even seen this film this year, I'm recording this in November, so I haven't watched it this year yet. It's such a beautiful scene and... The Christmas scenes, Susan's dresses. Susan has the best wardrobe for this. She has what I consider to be quintessential Christmas of the 90s and 80s with the velvet dresses and the reds and the bows and it's just so magical and so merry and obviously Attenborough is just Santa Claus to me. He's absolutely everything. I've also just realised that Jane Leafs is in this and Obviously, I only originally know her from Frasier. I only watched Frasier this year. Haven't watched this this year. So this year, this film will have an extra special layer to it. And obviously, Richard Attenborough is incredible. And I can... The thing is, I, I was going to say I watch Attenborough films and get a bit emotional because obviously he's no longer with us. But I get emotional at this film regardless. Mainly... Or partly, I guess, because it is an emotional film. But also because it just reminds me of my childhood and innocence and that raw belief in something magical without any doubt and without any need to question anything. It's just completely accepted. And those were the days. <laughs> According to IMDb, this is actually not won any awards, it's got one nomination. It was nominated for the... Hmm. I mean, it makes sense, but it's an odd category. It was a nominated um, the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy and Horror Films, the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor for Richard Attenborough. It's an, I can see why it fits, but that's a bit odd. But the film itself is just its perfect. It is the best Christmas film ever. I have seen the original. I do prefer the remake because of the nostalgia, the way it makes me feel, the memories, the happiness, the magic, the colours, and Attenborough. But the original is, obviously, it's a very good film, and I will talk about it at some point too, and I do enjoy it, but Miracle on 34th Street, it's everything. To me, 
miracle on 34th street is christmas <laughs>